morning. It is Saturday and I have just been having a slow morning. I'm drinking some coffee and waiting for the delivery people to come drop off my washing machine and dryer, which is super exciting. I've lived here for a month and I haven't had one, which is fine. My last house, I lived there for literally a year without one, so it's not that big of a deal, but I'm excited that I will finally have the means to do my laundry at my house. So I'm just kind of chilling. They have like a two to three hour window that they're supposed to come in. And yeah, and I'm also letting Enza run around the house. She's just, um, yeah, literally running around the house. She has the zoomies right now. My washer and dryer got delivered and are set up. I am currently running a load of laundry, a load of laundry. It's like three towels um, that I used to dye my hair and would stain all of my other clothes. But the water when they tested it came out like really like brownish um, just because these pipes haven't been used in so long. But yeah, so I'm basically just running like an empty load essentially to flush out the water system and uh, make sure that it spins out. So that's what's happening over here. And I think I'm gonna go outside and start doing a few projects. So that is what's next. So you probably don't know this, but I actually breed dubia roaches, which are cockroaches, like a specific breed of cockroaches that people commonly use as feeders for their reptiles. So I have this black bin back here that I breed these cockroaches in, and that sounds disgusting. Honestly, it is. They are so gross. But luckily here in South Carolina, the weather is warm and humid enough that I can literally just leave them in the bucket outside and I don't have to deal with them that often. But I do have to feed them today and pull out some of the smaller and medium-sized ones for Enzo to eat. So I am about to do that. Okay, so these are the bugs that I pulled out to feed Enzo. As you can see, they're different sizes, so I'm gonna try to separate the big ones from the little ones. That way, I can leave the little ones in a container for them to grow, so yay. So in terms of yard work, the first thing that I wanna do is pick up some of these bags of yard waste that I have just chilling in my yard. I had been working on clearing everything up and then it started raining and I just never got around to picking up the bags after it rained. So I need to do that. I also have a few bags over here under my carport from like the first day I did yard work and I just never put them up at the road because I had so many and moving them all was just a lot. So I'm going to move these bags all out to the road before I start filling more bags. Okay, so bad news is that I've left these bags sit here long enough that the bottoms have broken, which is the downside to using paper bags. So I am gonna have to try to figure out how I can like rebag them without making a disaster so that I can move them, which is annoying. <laughs>
So I really wasn't planning on working on my carport at all today, but since I'm out here and I had to clean up all of the leaves, I decided to reorganize. So I moved all of my wood over here that was over here. Um, and then I also moved the trash cans over to this little cubby area and I set everything up so my tools and stuff can go back here. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with Enzo's playpen, if I wanna leave it out here or if I wanna put it inside. So I still have to figure that out. But I am actually going to go ahead and clean up this part of my carport. As you can see, there's like a lot of yard waste as well as like actual trash right here and I've been meaning to do it, so. Since I'm in the carport, since I'm working on a few random unexpected projects in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and do that today.